it's a kind of rainy, cloudy January morning. I got some live white perch and I'm trying to snag a few shad. This water is some stirred up chocolate milk. It's got a little bit of a drizzle. Water temps are up. Got some warmer water. Here's what I'm looking for. Some red things. I don't want to spend too much time doing this up. Right here at sunrise. Good door. It tells itself right there. Yeah. Oh, let me drop it down. You good ones. Seems right here in the shallowish. Nine ten foot hook here. Heavy. That's a decent one. So let's get these. It's a fat crappie. Don't want green pants after me. Legal bait here in North Carolina, but to be krill size and caught with the dog in the ring. Got one of them. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Three. Two. Well, that's a good sign though. Perch. Big one. Just my share.
and these schools are just nothing but thread pins. A lot of bit of something around me now. Give it one more throw. I don't want to waste the sunrise for shit. Plenty of perch, just want to do some variety. this for now. Go ahead and get these cut up and on some hooks. There we go. We got one going down. Well it went down hopefully it's still on. Ah, don't tell me he popped. I think he did. This is green. Yeah, I don't think nothing. Dang. Either I'm on a really bumpy ground or that's a fish. Yeah, that's a little fish it felt like. Got a little tug. Yep. A little tug on that. It was like a little channel or something. Something to get the skunk out of the boat at least. channel. Look like about four four or five pound channel. 
Trying to reel them in too quick. Uh, I'm trying to get them over that line. Yeah, it just seems that they're biting it kind of cold and lethargic, but not getting a good hook set. Oh, it's just ring that stopped me. Hands are cold and pruning. Well, it seems that they're favoring the shed. Activity I've had is on this rod here with the gizzard head. Says at 10 a.m. the rain's supposed to stop. So let's hope it does. GoPro all foggy and rain on the lens. Well, we're gonna drag in the back of this creek. They do seem to be all over it, scattered. And hopefully another rod will go down and there won't be a little channel. Either I'm hung or you guys are dead. I believe we got us a fish. Yep. Because it stays on. It feels pretty solid too. The bad thing is he's going over right every day on planter. Keep turning the trail motor. Ugh. He's hitting the surface. Oh yeah. Between or teen it feels like. I'll take him. Gunk out. Actually, he looks pretty decent. Oh, heck, he hit that one. All right, good. Yep, he's in that one. Now he's fighting. Yeah. Bigger than I think. Yep. Yep. I do believe that's bigger than the teener or tweener. Let's see what we got here. Might be a twentier. Oh, swim out of the net. Good grief. Now you want to fight. 
There we are. Not too big of a tangled mess. Hooked. Yeah, the gizzard. I ain't touching my perch. All right, nice first official fish of the day. Thirty-four inches, twenty pounds, two ounces. Bigger than I thought. Shallow, muddy water. Gizzard heads, what he hit. All right, we got us another tugging on this one. Let's see if he's still there. Yep. This rain will stop. Just got that other planter set out. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm just taking the planters completely off. But always scared while messing with that the fishing pot. Hopefully, I can get him between these rods here. Channels are really at it. Little channel. Let's see if this one's actually got hooked. That last one bitten. Little eater. Channel. Muddy, muddy little channel. Well, you hooked the heck out of yourself that channel, didn't you? That's where my troll motor battery bear will be done already. That charged. I think that battery's about shot though. You barely fit that gizzard head in your mouth. Little guy. Oh, buddy. That's two in the boat. Hopefully my motor will last, or well, my battery will last. I really need to go get a new one. I think it's three years old. And there we go. Looks like we got us another little channel. Or maybe. Uh, 
Might be bigger in a little channel. Oh, he popped. I think. Yeah. There, gummit. That's three have popped. I think I am. Yeah, I'm in that other one. I was. Well, he wasn't huge, but still, fish is a fish. Ah, oh, you piece of crap. Alright, so we ain't had this in a while. I drug to the back of the creek in the shallows, like real shallows. Like single digit numbers, feet numbers. Nothing there. I anchored up at a choke point because the wind got bad and I got a huge tangle mess. No activity. Found a bunch of shad here and kind of warm. The sun's out in these warm mud flats. I'm getting a ton of marks here. So I freshened, I got some fresh shad, freshened up my baits. Uh, Swapped all my perch out. There's nothing touching perch. I put fresh shad on since that seems to be what they're wanting right now. And I've just got a ton of marks. I got some stuff all right in here. I, got, I don't know if that's quite. That might be a fish right there. Got some kind of indention in the sand. We're gonna drag right into here. If we catch these catfish chasing all the shad, there's just a ton of shad up in here. Which might be a bad thing because the catfish might be full already. But hopefully, we'll catch more than just two fish on this trip. We've missed three. Granted, one of them was just a little channel, but still. There we go. There's a fish finally. Oh, he feels pretty nice. I've anchored here at the mouth of the creek. Kind of on this point in the hump. I haven't been here too terribly long. Chocolate milk. Oh, oh, get away from that anchor rope. So I used to drift and about forgot about the anchor. That's a muddy blue. Ooh, tangled blue. There we are. Easy. Might have us another 20 pounder. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to 
good shot of that, buddy. Not the best hook, but he got it. I missed a massive takedown dragon earlier. It ripped the line right from the planter clip. As soon as I got up, it spit it out. Took the bait and everything. Seventeen six. You're close. We're oh, getting the shed everywhere. All right, let's take a few pictures and throw you back. All right, third fish of the boat on a slow January day. Actually, it wouldn't have been too slow for what I can cut everything that's hit. So he was 17.2, 33, or 17 pounds, 2 ounces, and 33 inches long. And that's just the third one in the boat. I think the shallow pumps right here, I think he was right on it. Now it's cut, guess or Chad. I need to get a better stand for my phone. I'll take pictures. All right, let's see if we got any more gizzards. Since that seems to be the bait of choice. Oh, Chad, cotton candy here. There's one. Little guy. This one has some bigger ones that fell out of it. Yep. He'll do. Yeah, I had all this white perch on out there and they just ain't touched it. Yes, it's just that big all just cut the tail off. Now we get that blood out there. This is my dragon rigs, but as you see, they still work anchoring. I could switch my weights, but I'll probably just drag next trip. All right, we'll give it another bit here. And we'll try another spot or two, and that'll put us at dark but hopefully we'll get a few more in the boat before we have to call it all right i'm at another anchor and something's messing with this one right here Rolling around, sliding down the leg. 
Village. It was a very subtle tap. I'm right here on a ledge of a shallow sandbar. Mark some fish on the ledge and some bait. Give him a minute. Let's see if he takes it. If not, we'll check the bait. All right, I don't know what happened here. Got one on this rod, and it's. I think. I don't know how I got tangled on these. Oh, man, he's coming up the boat quick. I don't even know how I got this mess. I casted this water. It was way out there. Oh man, that's gonna be a mess. Ew. Teenager. How did you get in these lines? Oh God! I think he got all two other rods. You're a tainer. Good hook there. Mustad tin ox. Demon circles. <clears throat> Carolina rig. Oh. Oh. All right, he's bigger than I thought. 33 inches, 16 pounds, 6 ounces. He ain't covered in mud at all. Nice, pretty blue. I guess he just kind of snuck this way. I didn't notice. So I had that rod casted out way that way. Thank 
part. So, tells me that they're up on that shallow. Heading towards the shallows. The real shallows is further that way. I try to get on this ledge here. Still gotta check the bait on this rod. Alright. Got us another runner. Feels like another teenager. He feels like I need that oil is real. I have my headlamp. Five in the boat. Would have been eight so far if I got on this. No, actually nine because that one massive takedown on the planter. Well, I guess I didn't really count that. I didn't even grab the rod. The bottom hook. And top and bottom ones are kind of scary. As long as they get past that uh, bone plate in the mouth, there should be fine. And of course, I'm fast boat by me. Yep, you might be the smallest. Yeah, you're the smallest blue today. Pretty 30 inch, 30 and a half inch, 11 pound blue. Back in the chocolate milk you go. Oh man, I hope he's still on. Daggum, that was a heck of a tug. He let go, Daddy. Daggum, he let let go. I don't know why they're doing that today. They are grand slamming it, taking the shad and not getting hooked. I use some little thread fins now. I put two in this one. Big ones. That was good takedown. Just eating a snack and just happened to look over. That rod was bent over. Deal 
is today. Well, gave a good sit, but after that last hard slam, that's been the only activity, so that temp is dropping. And it's gonna rain soon, so I'm gonna go ahead and reel them in and call it. Not a bad trip, but not a great trip. Five in the boat. If I would've had everything that's hit, it would've been a great trip. Would've had over 10 fish then. For whatever reason, they were just nailing it. And then no hookup. Like that one even yanked the uh, line out of the planter board clip. But as soon as I go to the rod, they let go. It's like the no. But every fish is caught in gizzard shad. They wouldn't touch the white perch. And we pretty much range from 10 to 20 feet. And most fish were double digits except for that little channel. But I'm gonna reel these in. My cramped boat. Hit the dock and head home. It's about an hour drive from here. But we'll get at it next weekend and hopefully get more and bigger ones in the boat.